good player, good prospect in a bad offense with really bad quarterback play. And I'm talking about Josh Palmer at Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Just specifically Mm -hmm. with him as a prospect, but also how difficult is it to rate a guy, to evaluate a guy that's clearly just in a bad system, but you can see the potential. Yeah, and and that's uh, that's where context matters when you're watching the tape on these guys uh, and, and understanding. Okay, who are they facing? Who's throwing the football? Uh, you know, the, just how is the offense designed to work? What are they asking of this player? Uh, you know, all that matters. And, and with Josh Palmer, the inconsistent quarterback play certainly plays a part. Uh, you know, a guy that he was you know a, a starter the last four years. And he has under 100 career catches at Tennessee. That's obviously you're like, you know, why is that? And you look at the quarterback uh, position and how, you know, just the inconsistency at, at that level, uh, that certainly plays a part. You watch him against Alabama, go up against Patrick Sertan, and you see a guy that can stack and win vertically, uh, tracks the ball really well. Um, you didn't see him create after the catch very much. I don't, I don't think that's his game. That's not where he's at his best. But a guy that can win off the line, and he ran a 4-5-1 at the pro day. I thought he'd run a little bit better. I thought he'd be in the 4-4s at least. But at the same time, he's still a guy that can that can win vertically and win over the top. So I don't know that he's going to go in the top 100 picks. Uh, it, it's a very loaded wide receiver group this year, just like last year. And that just might be the norm from now on. But somewhere early day three, I think team's going to get an excellent value uh, with Josh Palmer.